please uh, come up to standing. My name is Patanjali, and this is uh, intermediate level yoga. We're going to I begin with. I can tell you that I haven't done any intermediate class before from Shwasa. Okay. This is the first time I'm doing, so I'll try whatever I can do. Yeah, no problem. Come. We'll begin with a few loosening up movements. Feet together, hands along the sides. Chest, the sternum lifted. As you inhale, bring the arms from the sides. Up, join the hands, look up. Exhale, hands to the chest, chin tucked in. Second time, inhale, synchronize the breath. Arms together, look up. Exhale, hands to the chest, look down. Third time, inhale deeply, look up. Exhale, chin to the throat. Look in front, just to get the arms sideways. You're going to make a fist with your hands and then rotate the wrists a few times. Two, three, keep breathing. Four, five, six, opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five, Six, bend at the elbows, fingertips on top of the shoulders. Joining the elbows, practice a few rotations. Inhale, up, back, and down. Exhale, up, back, down. Two, inhale to go up. Exhale to come down. Three, four, keep looking straight in front. Five, last time. Six, opposite direction. Six, five, opening up the chest muscles. Four, letting go of any tension, stiffness from the shoulders. Three, keep going. Two, and one, finish. You can stand with the feet slightly separated. You're practicing forward and backward bending, hands interlaced behind the back. Pull the arms away, keep the thighs engaged, inhale, chest open, look up, exhale, come down, with the knees slightly bent, arms over the head. Repeat another five times, inhale, knees straight, arch back, exhale, come down, head close to the knees. Round three, inhale deeply, pull the arms away, exhale completely. Fourth time, inhale deeply, exhale completely. Fifth time, inhale, push the hips forward, arms active, exhale. One more time, inhale, arch back, exhale, slowly come down. Very nice, inhale, come back, release the hands, exhale. Wonderful, let's uh, practice uh, three rounds of classical sun salutations and uh, we'll take it from there. Welcome Sandeep, start at the top of the mat. Feet close to each other. There are 12 steps. First round, right side. Breathe as much as required. Palms together, rear position. Continuous breathing. Arms go up, look up, push the hips forward. You can slowly come down, bring the hands next to the feet, bend the knees, let the fingers and the toes be aligned. Right leg back, drop the knee, Toes out, drop the knee, Swati, look up. Good, keep breathing, left leg also back, body in a straight line, most of the weight on the arms, arms perpendicular to the floor. Super, release the knees, chest between the hands, chin to the mat, eight parts in contact. With the help of the hands, shift the body weight forward, head up, shoulders up, chest up, feet together. Tuck your toes, hips up, 
you look at the feet press down on the heels the right foot between the hands drop the left knee look up drop the back knee so the good the other leg also forward feet together head is down fingers toes in the same line reach forward arms up look up arch back release the hands exhale on the left side in the heel first exhale join the hands prayer position breathe by yourself arms up look up push the hips forward slowly come down hands next to the feet bend the knees to make it easy head down all of you swati head down left leg going back this time drop the knee stretch the left leg maximum knee lifted the right leg also comes back keep breathing this is a very good for posture for the arm strength lower the knees chest between the hands chin to the mat try to hold the hips off the floor using the hands shift the body weight forward head up chest up now tuck your toes hips up you look at the feet press the heels towards the mat left foot between the hands drop the right knee the right leg also forward feet together head down deep breath in inhale arms up look up arch back exhale relax you will try and synchronize the breath with my cues second round in inhale hands together exhale arms going up and inhale look up push the hips forward exhale come down all the way always feel free to breathe extra whenever needed the right leg back in inhale knee down toes out look up knee lifted left leg back plank position palms flat to swati press them exhale knees down chest between the hands chin down hold the hips in the air slide forward and inhale head up chest up toes up tuck your toes hips up exhale inverted v shape look at the feet right foot between the hands and inhale drop the left knee look up left leg also forward exhale feet together head down deep breath in inhale arms up look up arch back exhale hands down relax on the left side in inhale one prayer position exhale arms up in inhale look up push the hips forward exhale come down all the way hands next to the feet left leg back and inhale knee down toes out look up knee lifted right leg also back come into a plank position palms flat so that no need to open the thumb like that here exhale knees chest chin down slide forward and inhale head up chest up toes up tuck your toes hips up exhale inverted v shape left foot between the hands and inhale drop the right knee right leg also forward exhale head down deep breath in inhale arms up look up arch back exhale hands down relax third round in inhale palms together one exhale two in inhale arms up push the hips forward three exhale come down hands next to the feet right leg back four in inhale big step look up five hold the breath plank position palms flat good six exhale knees chest chin seven slide forward and inhale head up chest up eight tuck your toes hips up exhale nine right foot between the hands and inhale drop the left knee 10 exhale left leg also feet together head down 11 and inhale arms up look up arch back 12 exhale relax and inhale palms together one exhale two and inhale arms up look up arch back three exhale come down all the way 
left leg back. Four, inhale, take a big step, look up. Five, hold the breath, plank position. Six, exhale, knees, chest, chin to the mat. Seven, slide forward, inhale, head up, chest up. Eight, tuck your toes, hips up, exhale, inverted V. Nine, left leg between the hands, inhale, drop the right knee. Ten, exhale, right leg forward, feet together, head down. Eleven, inhale, arms up, look up, arch back. Twelve, exhale, relax. Very well. All of you walk to the far end of the mat, sit in Vajrasana for some time. Sit on your heels, hands resting on the knees. While you just uh, catch your breath, please uh, look here. We'll be doing a tiny drill where uh, since you all have uh, been practicing the plank pose now in Surya Namaskar, you release the engagement of the core. Right now, my abdominal muscles are engaged and my arms are really pushing into the ground. You continue pushing the hands down, but release the midsection of the body and do a simple back bend with the thighs engaged, chin pointing up and hips up, come to a down dog position or the inverted V shape. Lean forward, plank, take a pause here and then release the engagement of the abdominal region. Up dog, thighs are engaged, you're not dropping the knees, arms pushed down, chin up. Exhale, inverted V, and come to the plank. So I've shown I've shown you two rounds. You're going to do three rounds for me with my cues. Don't be in a hurry. I'll guide you. Start in the plank position. Okay. Stay there. Notice the hands pressed down, navel drawn in. Good. Release the engagement. Sink the hips. Thighs engaged. Go into a simple back bend and lift the hips up. Exhale. This is down dog. Come to the plank. Take a pause. Lean forward. Shoulders on top of the wrists. Navel drawn in. Hold it. And sink the hips. This one is called the up dog where your shoulders are open. Chest is wide. Exhale. Inhale, hips up, down dog. Third and the last time, we're going to hold each of these three postures for five counts. Lean forward, plank, stay. One, stay in the plank. Swati, walk the feet in a little more. Yeah, nice. Elbows straight. Two, hips up slightly, Manu. Walk the feet in a little bit, shoulders moving to the front. Two, yeah, this is better. Shafali, good. Three, come on, Jansi. Four. Come back, Rachna, and take up a dog. Hips are sinking, chest open, chin pointed. One. Engage the legs, shoulders rolled back. Two. Maybe you want to turn the hands slightly outwards. Three. Good, Shafali. Chest open, chest open. Four. Chin up, chin up. Five. Come into down dog. Exhale. Adjust, walk the feet in one or two inches if you like. One, two, nice, roll the thighs in, four, beautiful Swati, very good all of you, five, drop the knees, sit in Vajrasana, catch your breath. Now just remember this drill, we will be practicing this uh, for a lot of times. As we practice uh, Surya Namaskar B, five rounds of that. Come stand, come to the top of the mat. You will follow the instructions whenever in doubt, look at the screen. 17 steps. Stand with the big toes and heels touching preferably. Always uh, 
focus on the abdominal section in this particular surya namaskar because you will be engaging it throughout ready bend at the knees you touch the floor with the tips of the middle finger and then scoop the arms up and hey share pose sitting on an imaginary chair straight legs bend forward exhale head close to the knees this is full forward bend now only the head up and hey look slightly ahead of the feet half forward bend step the right leg back left leg also into the plank remember the sequence you practice chaturanga dandasana if you are familiar if not knees chest chin down exhale scoop up in the heel up the dog knees are off the floor chin pointing the ceiling exhale down dog step the right foot between the hands left heel turned in arms go up warrior 1 release the hands right leg going back again chaturanga dandasana if you are familiar body coming close to the floor otherwise knees chest chin down scoop up in heel up for dog knees off the mat elbows almost straight look up exhale down dog left foot forward right heel turned in raise the arms warrior pose release the hands left leg back chaturanga or exhale knees chest chin one more time in the heel scoop up press down on the palms up dog hips up exhale down dog stay here for three breaths look towards the abdomen one two and three look between the hands and heel right foot forward left foot also head in the air half forward bend exhale head close to the knees full forward bend bending at the knees scoop the arms and heel chair pose and exhale samasthiti round 2 sink the hips scoop the arms and heel chair pose straight legs hands down head close to the knees exhale full forward bend head up look slightly ahead in a heel half forward bend jump if you are comfortable or right leg first and then the left leg lower down chaturanga knees chest to chin as an option exhale scoop up in a heel up dog hip up ex heel down dog very nice right foot forward left heel placed down warrior 1 raise the arms nice release the hands ex heel chaturanga dandasana or knees chest to chin down scoop up in heel up dog chin pointing the ceiling hip up ex heel down dog left foot forward this time right heel down raise the arms stay warrior pose release the hands left leg back exhale if not chaturanga knees chest to chin scoop up in heel up dog hips up exhale down dog very nice stay three breaths walk the feet in one or two inches make it easy one fingers wide open all of you ho oh. and three look between the hands and heel jump or walk one foot at a time to the front head in the air half forward bend exhale head inside full forward bend sink the hips scoop the arms and heel chair pose utkatasana exhale samasthiti third round continue a come and heel chair pose the way x heel full forward bend three knee head up only in heel half forward bend chatwari jump or step back x heel lower down with control 
punch up, scoop up and inhale up dog. Shut hips up, exhale down dog. The right foot between the hands. Sapta, long inhale, warrior pose. Ashta, release the hands, exhale, lower down with control. Nava, scoop up and inhale up dog. Dasha, hips up, exhale, down dog. Ekadasha, left foot forward, inhale, Virabhadrasana. Dvadasha, release the hands, exhale, lower down with control. Trayodasha, inhale, up dog. Chaturdasha, exhale, down dog. Once again, adjust at any point of time. You get tired, you can uh, take child's pose. One. Two. And three. Look between the hands and inhale. Panchadasha. Jump or walk forward. Head in the air. Half forward bend. Shodasha. Head inside. Exhale. Full forward bend. Saptadasha. Sink the hips. Scoop the arms and inhale. Chair pose. Exhale. Inhale, Samastri. Two more rounds. Try to keep up. A come, inhale, chair pose. The way, exhale, full forward bend. Thirini, head up only. Inhale, half forward. Chatwari, jump or step lower down with control. Exhale. Pancha, scoop up, inhale, chest open. Shut hips up, exhale, down dog. Sapta, long inhale, right foot between the hands, warrior pose. Ashtau, release the hands, exhale, lower down. Nava, scoop up, inhale, up dog. Dasha, hips up, exhale, down dog. Left foot between the hands, ekadasha, inhale, warrior pose. Dvadasha, release the hands, exhale, lower down with control. Trayodasha, inhale, up dog. Chaturdasha, exhale, down dog. Nice. Three breaths. One. Two. Turn the toes in, Sandeep. And three. Look between the hands. Panchadasha, inhale, jump or walk forward. Head in the air. Exhale. Inhale, head inside. Saptadasha, sink the hips, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, Samastati. Very well, Swati and Priya. Sorry, Swati and uh, Manu. Take a break. Last round, all of you practice by yourself. You guys can take a break, huh? Just take it easy. Jansi, do one more round. Manu, relax. You can uh, sit, take a break. Vajrasana. Just uh, look at the others while you sit, huh? Swati, look at the other person. Watch how they practice the 17 steps. Everyone who's finished will uh, sit in Vajrasana, take a short break. Tell me something, Varun. Which hand am I showing? Which hand is this? Right hand. Okay, right hand. Cool.
All right, uh, come up to standing. Let's uh, do a few standing postures. You will all step to your right hand side of the mat, okay, right hand side, and then stand at the top. Do everything with me. Hands on the waist, roll the shoulders back, and here we'll be moving from one posture to another in a flow. Step your left leg back for the pyramid pose. Medium stance. Stay there for a little bit. Parsha Uttan Asana. Hands interlaced behind you. Pull the arms away. Inhale. Pull up your kneecaps. Exhale. Come down. Look at the right big toe. Right hip pushed back. Stay here. One. Nice. Getting a good stretch to the right hamstring. Two. Yeah, careful, Sandeep. Keep the front knee a little bent and allow the hip to push back. Three. Focus more on the back leg. Make that back leg heavy. Four. Uh, a slight modification today. Hopefully, you can follow. You keep looking at the big toe. And move the hands back next to the hips and then drop them in between the feet, fingers facing back, fingers pointed back. Beyond the fingertips, four, almost done. Keep the right hip pushed back. Listen carefully, five, place the left hand next to the right foot and go into twisted triangle, right arm up to the ceiling. If the hand doesn't stay down, you can come hold the leg and keep the right hip pushed back. Stay five counts. One. Legs remain undisturbed. Feel free to move the hands whenever required. Two. Wonderful. Three. Good, Manu. Very nice. Four. Now, hands as it is, just listen to my voice. Only when in doubt you will watch me. Five, put the top hand on the waist. Top hand on the waist. Start bending the front knee a little bit. Increase the distance. Take a wide stance. And then you rise the chest and level the arms along the shoulders. Again, twist. Look to the back. Look to the back. Keep bending the front knee. One. Super. Parivritta Parshakonasana. Why don't the other way? Two. Eva, are you with me? We're doing wide legged twist. Three. Come up for Jhansi. With the chest, you come up. Open the arms along the shoulders. Four. Nicole, you're doing good. Chest up, Anubhuti, some more. Now listen carefully, five, both hands on the waist, look in front, drop the back knee, release the toes. Doing a lateral bend here, left arm up and inhale, exhale, go sideways. Like you would do in triangle pose, Trikonasana, one, two, Nicole, look at the screen. Three, lateral bend. Give arm along the ear. Four, Rani chest up, Shalini chest up. Wonderful. Five, inhale, both hands on the waist, come back. Now the backward bend, it is slightly different as compared to Anjani Asana. You're going to interlace the hands behind and tuck your toes for stability okay keep the front foot strong pull the arms back and inhale arch back you could maybe try to touch the hands to the floor the interlocked hands if you are really flexible they will touch the floor no count here this is the last posture of the sequence Excellent. And come to the center. Finish 
hold on to the waist join the feet come up to standing wonderful all good so far let's uh, change the sides step the right foot back for pyramid pose medium stance hands behind you and lace the fingers chest open and inhale knee caps pulled up exhale forward bend look at the left big toe put more weight on the back leg one hip pushed back sandeep left hip pushed back you will turn the chest more towards the left leg so not the fridge but towards the ca camera three correct like that yeah push the hip more back four careful twisted triangle but before that a variation of your pyramid you're going to move the hands back next to the hips and drop them in between the feet fingers pointed back stay here very nice and five right hand next to the foot raise the left arm up for twisted triangle but if your legs are adjusting please make sure the legs do not adjust move the hand up on the leg make it easy one super swati very good left hip pushed back throughout two oh, rachna is using a block wonderful varun you should also be using a block ha huh? four so that your hip can push back left hip push it back look at uh, rachna's hip huh? they are really in square okay five top hand on the waist increase the distance and uh, like you would do in warrior open the chest arms along the shoulders twist look to the back one nice good divya bend the front knee more manu the other way turn the other way two eva turn some more bend the knees and the three good rani back knee straight four listen carefully five both hands on the waist drop the back knee prepare for a lateral bend sink the hips down right arm comes up and heel go sideways like you would do in triangle x heel one chest up divya correct and it two chest up manu three palm facing down on both the four squeeze the elbow to the back of the knee elbow straight to the top sharani four nice five come to the center this is going to be slightly different from anjaneyasana you tuck your toes at the back hands interlock behind pressing firmly on the front foot pull the arms away and heel arch back if you have a good flexibility try touching the hands to the floor lakshmi no count here hips down manu push the hips down bend the knee keep bending the left knee bend it more good rachna very nice okay finish come to the center hands on the waist join the legs exhale and you all face the camera take full yogic squat malasana nice close the eyes just for a little bit swati i see you have a cushion please uh, use the cushion like eva is uh, using heels uh, will be placed on top of the cushion heels correct yeah that will give you more support toes outwards turn the toes out nice very nice 
The next one is a forward bend. We'll be doing two different variations of this. First, you simply place the fingertips on the floor. Notice my toes are really pointed out, nicely pointed outwards. Okay, fingertips down, walk forward. Get the knees open. They will tend to fall, but consciously you keep them separated. Right? Walk forward. Notice the rounding of the spine and look down at the space between the feet. Knees open. Turn the toes more out if required. Be only on the fingertips. See how you feel a pull to the inner thighs, the groin area. Feet wider, Divya. This is a very good, uh, all of you. And come back now. We're not finished. Look at the second variation. Right now, only the elbows are against the thigh. You will try and extend one arm at a time. Maybe get the armpit across. Earlier, you were opening the knees. Now you will close them. Okay, close them. Try wrapping the hands around, around the back. You might want to come on the toes without losing balance. See if you're able to touch the head down. This could be a little tricky, but uh, do whatever is possible for you. Good, Jansi, very nice. Come on the toes without losing balance. Super, and unlock yourself. Hands in Namaste, come up to standing and inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Today you will practice the crow pose from a standing position. Crow is nothing but Kakasana, but uh, the way we do it today, it will become Bakasana, the crane pose. So I'm standing with the feet separated, toes slightly turned out, then hands in front. Place the knees to the armpits if that's possible. If you've been practicing crow for a long time, you will bring the knees to the armpits. Otherwise, keep the knees uh, anywhere above the elbows, look in front. Lean forward. Again, rounding of the spine. Same as we were doing. Uh, in uh, the squat. In Malasana. Nice, Anubhuti. Correct hips, Satmanu. Balance there, yeah. Look at a fixed point. Once you come up, count for five. Quickly, one, two, three, four, five. So that you know that you're able to hold at least for five counts. Try again. When you're finished, sit in Vajrasana, all of you. Sandeep, good. Look in front to Jansi. Yeah. Go for it. Don't be afraid. Nice, well and good. Yeah, it's it's all easy. You just need some more practice. Now, for those who are doing the crow so effortlessly, I'm gonna give you a fun variation. You can watch first, practice later. So instead of being on the hands, we're going to drop one forearm diagonal like that. So elbow and the hand are in one line, but they are forming a diagonal line, turn the hand inwards, forearm is down, right? Knees above the elbows, hips up, lean, let me get some cushioning for the elbow. Yeah, hips up, lean forward, wait, hold on. Yeah, hips up, lean forward. Yeah, please try that. One forearm down and the other hand down. You will do it two times. Once with this uh, hand position and then switch it up. Good. Come back. If you had the right forearm down, put the left forearm down the second time.
Nice, Varun. Okay, come back and uh, take child's pose all of you for a brief period. Forehead down, hands next to the feet, palms facing up. Catch your breath. The hand is not uh, horizontal, Sandeep. It's only diagonal. Your hand is doing. Your hand is turning so much. Not required. Do a little less of a turn. Yeah, that's better. Now we'll uh, keep things very simple. A very simple arm balance. Come to plank and do side plank for me. Right hand to the middle, left hand going up. Yeah, five counts on each side. Take the plank. Yeah, go for it. Stack the feet as a scale up. One, beautiful Manu. Two. Yes, Swati, very nice. Hips lifted, Swati. Palm flat. Is your palm flat? Keep it flat. Three. Four. Excellent. Five. And switch sides. If you're doing it so easily on one arm, I don't know why you struggle with crow and both hands are down. Huh? So funny. One. Two. Mind is funny. Mind will trick you. Three. Beautiful, Swati. Four. And five. Come back. Sit in Vajrasana. And then legs straight and front. Practice. Janu Shirshasana. You bend your right foot. Keep the foot to the inner thigh. Before you do the forward bend, let's do a simple twist, arms up, exhale, hold the opposite knee, turn, look behind. Just a couple of breaths, try to sit down on both buttocks. Yeah, that's it. Nice. And come back, arms in the air, and inhale, face forward. Go down, exhale, hold your left leg wherever you reach. Hold it. One. So deep, avoid tilting. Try to bring both sides of the chest down. Two. Hold the ankle, yeah, that's okay. Hold the ankle. Three. Yes, very good. Four. You too, Swati. It's okay to hold the ankle. Knee straight. Five. Reach forward. Inhale. Arms up. Come out. Exhale. Release the hands. Straighten both the legs. Switch the sides. Left foot to the inner thigh. Before you do the forward bend, take the arms up. Inhale. And twist the body. Exhale. Hold the opposite knee. Look to the back. Foot uh, flexed one. Yeah. Just a couple of breaths there. Sit down on both buttocks. Good Lakshmi, very nice. And come back and inhale, arms up. Go straight down. Exhale. Hold your right leg wherever possible. One. Good, Shafari. Two. Three. Hold the ankles, shall we? Four. And five. Reach forward and inhale, arms up. Exhale, release. Straighten out both legs. And then you bring the soles of the feet together. If you pull them too close, you might be rounding the shoulders. That is not needed currently. So walk them away. Maybe you're forming a diamond shape, which is perfectly fine. But sit straight, chest open. Be, you know, stable, not uh, falling. Again, do the twist. Arms up and inhale. 
exhale you're pulling on the knee not pressing it down so much but pull and then turn maximum keep turning Just a couple of breaths. Very good, all of you. Very, 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 very good. Arms up and inhale. Change. Exhale to the other side. You twist. Be straight with the spine. Use the hand which is holding the knee as a leverage. Turn more. Good. Chest up, Lakshmi. Arms up, inhale. You bring the hands down, exhale. Before you do the forward bend, let's see. All of you will walk the feet away. Form a proper diamond shape. Diamond shape. Okay. And slip the hands. And if you have long arms, you will be able to slip them under the ankles and cup them around the feet, around the toes. But if that's not possible, do not stress. Hold on from the top, from above. Exhale, head down over the feet. Stay here. This is very easy. Not too much struggle, but uh, super beneficial for the hips. Release all the tightness from the hip region. Improves your uh, all other forward bending postures. Stay one, two, three, four, nice, five, unlock and inhale, come out, exhale. Release. Please uh, straighten out the legs, lie down on your back for some time. We're going to practice the bridge. Dynamic movement. Bend the knees, feet hip width apart, palms sit down on the mat. Five repetitions. Get comfortable. Press sit down on the feet, the heels, and inhale, hips up, chest up, come up, one. Exhale, lower yourself. Good, make any adjustments. Find ways to lift higher each time. Two, inhale, hips up, chest up. Elbows may be coming close to the body. Exhale, down. Three, inhale, hips up. Chest up higher, chin pressing into the throat. Exhale, down. Very good, Shapali. Four, inhale, up. Beautiful, Anubhuti. Jansi, very nice. Exhale, down. Once again, inhale, up. All of you see if you're able to support the back. Hands to the lower back. Four fingers outside, thumb inside. Good, elbows more in, please. Hips higher. Right leg up in the air, 90 degrees. Stay, breathe. Exhale, down. Left leg up in the air, and inhale. Exhale, down, very nice. Release the hands. Hips down. Hug your knees tight into the chest. Nice. You're going to hold on to the back of the thighs. Rock front and back just a couple of times. And then come up to sit. Sit in Vajrasana. Let's uh, look at the headstand today. We do this quite often, but today we're going to actually do it, not sit around. Okay. Have you uh, done this before, Manu, in the gym? The teacher taught you? No? So bad. 
give me the phone number of that teacher. I want to speak to that person. Right, uh, who wants to demonstrate? Varun? Cool. In, sorry, hold on to the opposite elbows. Look at Varun, all of you. Look at the steps. Hold on to the opposite elbows. Hands sit down in front of the knees. And then open. Measurement remains the same between the elbows. Hands interlace to form a tripod. Head comes down. Knees come up. Walk forward, walk forward, walk forward until you feel the back is straight. And then his uh, brought the knees into the chest, which is a half headstand. But you will try one knee at a time. Yeah, you missed what I just did. It's good that you missed it. So let me look at you, follow these steps for now. Let's see how much uh, we can do. One day at a time, okay? Divya, walk more. Jansi, if you know how to do it with the wall or something, you can go for it. Hmm. Manu, come down. You're not just uh, measuring, but also forming a tripod. You have to release and interlace. So first measure, drop them down. Drop them down. Now release and interlock the fingers. Head close to the hands, huh? Put the crown of the head down. Down to the floor. Jansi, question? Let me unmute you. Hold on. You want um, to say something? I have, yeah, I haven't done this before, um, so I need some assistance. Okay. Manu, Swati, and uh, whoever else need uh, to watch the steps again, please look. So you're uh, not only measuring the elbows, interlacing the hands and- Can you show the wall support? No, we're not doing wall support. Oh. Can you do it, Swati, with the wall? I'll try. No, we won't try. <laughs> Hold on, let me come to you. You will open the hands, okay? Your hands are not closed. They are open so that your head can come in that space. Here, your head will not come. If you open, then the head will come. So measure, clasp your hands, head placed down, knees up, walk forward, and then feel a lot of weight on your tripod. One knee up, take a couple of breaths. Other knee up, couple of breaths. And child's go. That's it for today. Okay. Do this much. You don't need the wall. Avoid dropping the head just yet, huh? You have to prepare your tripod, see how the tripod is, and then drop the head. Come, Swati, come up. Don't drop the head. First make your tripod. Yeah. Release, clasp your hands. Good. Now drop the head. Now drop it. Good. Yeah, that's good, Zansi. You should pull one knee into the chest next. Super, Eva. Let's uh, wrap up. That's good. That's a good beginning. You can finish. Were you able to hold today, Varun? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, sometimes we fall, sometimes it comes. It's just a matter of practice. Lie down. Shavasana. Feet apart, arms apart. Head side to side. Relax. Relax the whole body. The legs, hips and the buttocks. 
the back spinal column shoulder blades relax the arms the hands and the wrists for supporting you in today's class the forearms elbows and upper arms relax the neck relax the face when you keep the palms turned upwards feet more wide more Good. Relaxing both inside and out. Calm down the mind. Slow down the thoughts. Just let go. Relax. Relax. relax if the body is asking you to spend some more time in shavasana please listen to the body if you are ready to come out start by moving your toes your fingers hands and the feet put the legs together arms go over the head and heel stretch yourself interlace the hands stretch the hands the feet in opposite directions exhale release bend the knees turn over come sit with the eyes closed sit quietly for some time without any judgments notice the breath moving in and out joining the hands will end with the prayer and a hail loka samastha sukheno bhavantu om shanti 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 he sab the hands together 
to build up some heat. You can cup your eyes, feel the warmth over the face. Thank you very much.